Good morning. Um, this is from Steam It. Using hemp for radiation cleanup. Yeah, this this came out four months ago. Hemp is an amazing plant because there are literally said to be thousands of different uses for it. Some estimates say there are maybe as many as fifty thousand different ways that we can use hemp to benefit our communities, the economy, and the world around us. Hang on. I got somebody on my lap. There we go. Okay. Some of the more popular, popularly mentioned uses are medicines, uh, plastics, fuels, livestock feed, and paper products. Okay. Anyways. One of the even more impressive qualities of hemp is that it can also help assist with radiation cleanup. Too bad they didn't do that in Fukushima, huh? Uh, hemp has proven to be a beneficial phytoremediative plant, and scientists have found that it can help to clean up polluted areas that have been affected by radiation. Scientists even used hemp to clean up areas around the Chernobyl disaster, and they noted that after the cleanup, that the hemp could be used to produce biofuel, which would give them a second use out of it. Wow. Ah. There are a number of studies that already indicate that hemp might be an extremely beneficial plant when it comes to absorbing toxins like heavy metals and more. It is said that the hemp plant is able to leach contaminants from the soil and that it's that is how it's able to clean up the area. The Japanese were even considering using it with the Fukushima disaster, but criminalization over the plant were preventing them from seeing if it could help. Wow. How about that? They weren't even allowed to try and clean it up because, I mean, what's, there's nothing legal, illegal about hemp, okay? Hemp, hemp is, you know, not what you put in your pipe and smoke, <laughs> all right? <laughs> anyway, so they were prevented uh, due, to due to the criminalization over the plant. believe that. See, now we know why they want to make this and marijuana illegal. All right, because they both are Earth's miracle plants. And they would rather us go to our doctors and then go to the pharmacy and poison ourselves. Yeah, it makes sense from their perspective. Uh, okay, so anyways, um, the Fukushima disaster is one that authorities, that the authorities there have been struggling with for four, four years to try and clean up and get under control. But, they can't use him because it's illegal. <laughs> God. Okay, and who knows how much better off the situation might be if they were allowed the freedom to try cleaning things up by growing some hemp. So what's fight, fight or mediation? The hemp is able to use the process of phyto, phyto remediation in order to clean the infected area. Phyto remediation is the process of using living plants in order to remove contaminants in the soil or ground water, etc. This cleanup process is a very low cost and solar energy driven technique. Not only is it cost effective, but it's also said to be the least harmful method for cleanup. As it, pres as it preserves the environment in a more natural state and uses living organisms in order to address the problem. 
other plants that are used for the same purpose of phyto phytoremediation are plants like Indian mustard, willow, sunflower, Indian grass, and others. This is just one more way that hemp, if legalized, decriminalized, could help to benefit, benefit us all, as well as the environment and more. To this day, Fukushima is still having radiation problems, and the issue hasn't been cleaned up or sorted out yet. With radiation levels said to be soaring there in recent weeks, it's been just a little over six years since the event occurred, and they still haven't stabilized the area yet. Because they're keeping the plant illegal. So what does that tell you? That doesn't tell me anything good. All right, nothing good. They're keeping, they're, Ill, they're criminalizing anything that basically is healthy for, for the human body. They're making it illegal, you know. They're forcing us into pharmacies. They're forcing us to, to end up one way or another eat GMOs, whether we know it or not. Right? They have, they are controlling us. That sums it up. They're controlling us. They're controlling Earth. They're controlling all of Earth's natural medicines. You know? The best medicine is eating healthy. Seriously. You know? But eating healthy is becoming a thing of the past. Because you never know. You know, unless you grow it yourself. Hey, you don't know where it came from. You can't trust labels. Anyways, I digress. So, basically, if they were allowed to use the hemp, then good possibility uh, that, that, that we would have had a different outcome. So, just more deceptiveness for you. And uh, until next time, please do have a wonderful day. And thank you so much for watching. Well, I stand, I stand corrected. Um, what is the difference between hemp and marijuana? It's very simple. Hemp, okay, mar uh, marijuana is the female, right down here. Uh, hemp plants are the male, and marijuana plants are the female. One is a drug. And the other is not. I wouldn't say drug. I would use the word medicine. And the other is not. So, think about that. Oh, yeah, marijuana growers. Think about keeping those males, isolating them, keeping them away from the female. You know what I'm talking about. It seems like we need to start uh, producing hemp. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> that's our solution so anyways yeah I just wanted to add on to, to this video that hemp plants are male and marijuana plants are female alright thanks again for watching bye